What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we're going to be bringing you some more of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Now if you've noticed I've been streaming this game a lot and the main reason is because I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. Not to say that I didn't enjoy Awakening but this game is on a whole nother level I feel. Especially now that I have somewhat of a better understanding as to how the game works. Overall it's a way more pleasurable experience obviously because I know more information so I'm enjoying myself big time with this and hopefully you're enjoying watching it with me. This whole thing is kind of a long series in a sense because the videos that go up are hours long, but hopefully you're just skipping through, you know, you don't really have to sit there and watch the whole fucking bulk of it, but I put those little highlights, those little um, table of content things in the description so that way you can navigate it a little easier and get to the better bits. But now also I know this is episode five. You might not have seen episode four, which was the stream that we did I think two days ago, but that one's going to be uploaded literally right after this one. And you can expect episode 5 either later today or tomorrow. I kind of got caught up in terms of my editing, so I wasn't able to put out episode 4 as early as I wanted to because I still wanted to... I, I need to go through the entire thing and make sure I get the highlights in the description. And that's a time-consuming process, but it's something that I want to do because if I just left the bulk video out there with no way to navigate to what happens when, I feel like that would be kind of... It would be kind of lame, you know, that way it w people wouldn't be able to navigate it. it. It would suck. And, you know, you have to sit there and watching it for hours and hours to be able to figure out what goes down when. It, it's, it's not cool. So, anyways, episode four will be out right after this stream is over. And episode five will hopefully be out later on. Um, we also have Logan Bradford joining the sponsor group. Big thank you to you, my friend. The description, ugh, excuse me, those benefits are in the description. So, you can go and check those out. The sponsor chat has been really suave lately. So, excuse me um give those guys a visit but anyways guys we are going to be doing episode five which is around chapter nine of this and hopefully we can do chapter 10 as well too i'm ready to get into it man i don't want to waste too much time um big shout out to the chat as well too guys thank you all so much for coming through let me let, let me by the way give give one of these to my man logan here um you're gonna enjoy the chat man i mean your, your profile picture is a little creepy but it's fine it's all good we have a bunch of creeps in the sponsor chat that's the norm in this bitch Big thank you to you, my friend. But anyways, let me shout out my niggas here. We have um, Ernest Jones, Spam. We have Gask, K, Pave, M, um, Zeno, Speed, uh, Saito, Corin. So many freaking names. TVP, True Soul, The Nomad, um, Super Smash Gaming. Um, we have Red Ed. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I, I recognize an icon there with a name. I don't know who that is. Let me see. Don't miss the panty raid. Yeah, I, I remember that. That, that was a that was a very very, very heated debate that we had uh, with the um, whole uh, petting feature. But anyways, donations are also off for this entire stream. No donations are being taken. Don't donate. The thing ain't gonna pop up. No, we need to stay concentrated and focused on the task at hand. In fact, right now I'm kind of in Zen mode. So if I don't seem as you know, chatty during the stream. It's because I'm doing my best to try to keep my ass from getting cut off due to how the difficulty is increasing within Conquest. But I think that we've been doing relatively okay besides taking a little bit long to make our moves. Better safe than sorry in my book all the time. But yo, let's get into it, man. I am ready. M remember, donations are off, guys. So please do not donate anything. Um, hold on. Okay, so let's start this up. Episode 4, um, there's going to be a lot of people that come into the stream a little bit confused because they'll see episode 5 in the title and see that there's only three posted so far. Just do your best to try to inform those people that episode 4 will be posted literally right after this is done. I know it's kind of a weird system, but uh, I mean, hey, I'm doing the best I can, man. Let's get into this. All right, I'm going to let's make sure. Let's, by the way, let's get a prayer chat. Let's get, excuse me, let's get a prayer emote in the chat hoping that this catch a card works on me for this stream because I had some trouble in testing it a little while ago. So let's do this now. There we go. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Function. Alright. I'm ready to just focus on this, man. Let's do it. Okay, so... Maybe you dudes didn't see because episode 4 hasn't been posted yet, but in that episode, we had actually experimented a bit with the Robin Amiibo. However, all that we got out of it was a dragon feather, nothing else, so I re-added the Amiibo to my world just to see if anything else would happen. How do I emote on mobile? There should be an icon to be able to do so. Big shout out to the sponsor group as well too, guys. Thank you all for coming through. The sponsors have been really, really cool in handling certain 
oddities in the chat lately so props to these guys um, the ones who are mods at least and even if you aren't a mod and you're in the sponsored chat I still appreciate the support from you dudes it's always fun talking to the sponsors in the discord group I was in there for a little longer than usual yesterday and we were all just you know playing Smash Brothers talking getting acquainted it's cool it's a really nice it's a really nice feeling to know that there's a bunch of people that got your back the sponsors are self-sufficient though like these niggas don't even need me and that bitch to have that motherfucker running man they, they do it all by themselves and it's really it's really impressive to see that the community formed itself and is literally self-sustaining now even though it's based upon me it's kind of crazy but impressive to say the least anyway so let's start this off man there's a couple of things to do around the castle but the main things that I should have done were organize the items on my characters and thankfully I did off camera I was able to equip everyone with I feel like might just be the best items for them at least in terms of being able to equip certain items so I don't think I need to focus too much on this we have Effie here an amazing wall and hopefully I'll be able to utilize her to protect ourselves later on and everyone else I just basically gave them the best that I have in terms of the weapons that we currently have from the old um, visit castle thing so a lot of these things I mean I don't know, I don't want to spend too much time on them. I don't know, who, who the hell is this? Uh, Alright, whatever. So... We have uh, Odin here, one of my favorite characters right now, you definitely. This dude is fucking comedy. Like, you, when you see episode 4, if you haven't seen it yet, you'll see all, I highlighted all the hilarity that Odin caused during the stream in the highlights in the description, so you'll be able to see for yourself. But this dude is a fucking riot from start to finish, man. Um... Only 35 HP, we in for a bad time. I think she's okay. I didn't do supports yet either. So I'll be doing those along the way as well. Let's make this fun. Okay, Niles. So we get a little surge. I think that lasts into the next chapter, hopefully. Let's keep stay taking things from the crops. We have Red Rex92 joining the sponsor group. Hold one of these, my friend. Big thank you to you. The, we got the, the benefits in the description, and there's gonna be some more coming <laughs> on later. I know for a fact that custom emotes are definitely being worked on, but we just don't really have a solid date for it. But for now, the badge and the sponsor chat, I think that's okay for now. And especially considering that the sponsor chat is a bit more um, orderly. Although I do like insanity in the regular chat as well too. But you know, having variation in terms of the wild ass regular chat and then the kind of still wild but kind of organized at least sponsor chat. That's the way I see it. What a splendid day. Lady Luck is on my side for a change. I doubt that, Arthur. But okay, so... Let me see here. Now we have Robin. Let me see. Should I do support first? Let's do the lottery shop thing. Now get something good. Let's try it out. Etika, do the free DLC first. I don't know if I want to do DLC for my first playthrough of this game. You want a consolation prize. A crystal. We can use those for varying things like weapons and upgrades and stuff, right? And then we also have the crops over here, so let's check this out. Two cabbage. Felicia also has something to say to us. Some new item. A quill pen. What kind of fucking item is that? Quill pen. Dodge plus ten, not actually mightier than the sword. Alright, so it doesn't look all that great. And next we have, uh, let me see, what else, we, we could talk to Lilith, but right now, let me, let me just sync up stuff with the crystal ball, wow, okay. So leaving the game off and then turning it back on, it seems like things update, because when I just have it in sleep mode, I don't really see that many changes happening to the game while I play, but I guess if you leave it off for a certain amount of hours, or maybe if it, even if I just left it in sleep mode for a certain amount of hours, eventually things would update the way that they are now, so... Okay, I'll do that later. That's a very time-consuming process that I don't want to bore you guys with. We have Red Hills joining the sponsor group. Yo, man, we are about to crack 500 sponsors, I think. We're close. I think we're extremely close. Nope, no, 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 we just did it. Holy shit. My niggas. You know, let, let's go to the main browser really quick. This is a pretty fucking crazy goal. The fact that we managed to hit 500 sponsors within what a month of the sponsor program being launched I think it's been either a month or two months I'm not a hundred percent sure but some crazy amount of time like that and already we have half of a thousand sponsors 500 niggas that decided that giving me 399 a month to support the channel and to help keep things floating 
is worth it. Thank you all so much for taking that risk on me. I'm doing my best to try to make things worth it as much as possible. Right now, we're kind of going through more of a calm time in the gaming industry. There is hype, obviously, and a lot of excitement with anticipated titles coming along. But in terms of the hot news, not as much. We had the Nintendo Direct, which showed us some things. But really, when it gets around June with E3 later on in the year, around mid-year, that's when the hype really starts flowing. So right now, we're going through more of a laid-back time. So less news reports, less hype stuff, but we're just enjoying the games that we got over the holiday season and leading into the beginning of this year. So I know I'm not really doing the videos that I was beforehand, but that's because the times have changed. So my style's changed a little bit. But when the hype comes back, that NX comes in, things are going to take a much more excited turn. But for now, we're chilling right now. So that's why I really want to make the streams a consistent thing. So I thank you all for taking that pledge, man. I appreciate it, guys. Red. Red 13? Big appreciation, my man. Let's see here. What can we do now? We have the private quarters. So let's invite an ally over. I don't know. Who should we bring over? Let's bring over Odin! <laughs> so we can, <laughs> we can catch some of that aching blood, man. All right. what he has to say to us. Hmm? Pardon my intrusion, it is I, your humble servant, Odin Dark. I await your command. And we have the Tactician Magician and JB joining the- I am would spend your scant free time with humble Odin, hero of the ages. Okay. I really don't, I mean, I don't know, I guess I just invite them over and that's it. Well, anyways, we have two new sponsors on top of that, man. Speak of the devil and he will appear. I do appreciate it, guys. Two more of these niggas. In fact, there were so many of you dudes that are joining the sponsor group that my fucking... My, my, my browser page for it actually crashed. Yeah, I can't access my sponsor page anymore to, you know, give my thanks to you guys because YouTube is fucking up. I don't know what's going on there, but regardless, there was someone else alongside with that person named JB that sponsored... I do appreciate it, man. Thank you guys. Big time. And hopefully you're enjoying those benefits as well, too. You know, I mean, of course, obviously, the support is the main reason why you do it, I think. But the benefits are cool, too. The sponsor chat is a whole nother world, in my honest opinion. But okay, so we're going to save the game again. And we also have this thing with Lilith, so let's do that. So what can we give her now? She has a lot of resistance, actually. A lot of magic. Berries. Why not? Why the fuck not? So she levels up every time she eats? That was wonderful. Did you prepare it? And hell no. Thanks, I already feel smarter. And we get a gift? So more gold bar. Now, even though we have a significant amount of weapons thanks to the whole castle visiting feature, one thing we don't have a lot of is money. Especially considering in the chapter 8 section of things, we didn't really do the $10,000 gold reward thing by recruiting all the houses, so we kind of slacking in regards to the bank account, but we can do. So we're going to sell this off. We have more sponsors coming through Royal Geno with that spawns hype, my boy. Thank you very much for that, Royal Geno. In fact, we had so many sponsors within this stream already. Let me let me hook you guys up with my own special, my own special spawns hype. There you go. Hold that, my friend. Big appreciation to the last three sponsors that came in. You niggas broke the fucking server in some way because now I can't see my goddamn sponsors on this list. You should feel proud about that. But yes, guys, please. Do not donate anymore. Sorry if I can't watch you today, but I have from Shuji Atatacha. Shuji, you, you're a big supporter, but please don't donate. Man. I, it won't show up. I really feel bad because even if I put it in the description, people are still going to donate and it sucks. But all right, I'm going to save the game now. Save the game now. Hey, wait, what did you say? Somebody coming in here. Oh, nigger faggot. I've, that's, a, that's an original one, but oh, I got it. Lord Tullis, Lord Tullis, I thought you were cool. Just play the game. Fuck your damn sponsors. Well, that's not nice of you to say, man. I thought you were cooler than that, man. You've been around for a while. What happened? That's a fallen angel right there. But all right, 
But we have plenty of time to play the game, however, my friends, as I'm going to be making this stream pretty damn long. So one way or another, you're going to be in here for the long haul. So getting these little things out of the way, I don't think there's any real big harm in there. Although I guess I would like to get to the gameplay as well, too. But either way, we're going to be spending a long time. But all right. So now let's talk to Robin, man. Let's talk to Robin. Oh, so he oh, here I am again. Nice to see you. I learned a great deal since we last spoke. Your world is interesting. Such vicious battles everywhere, it's kind of troubling. The people of your world seem long accustomed to this kind of conflict. I'm used to battling, but you're used to facing what seems like endless war. Yet, I too, in another place, might have faced the same thing. So one thing I realized when looking at his text before is that this Robin is actually straight from Smash Brothers. But maybe he's unsure as to what his history in Awakening was, but then again, he, he did tell us that he was a masterful tactician, so he must have some memories, but maybe not a bunch. But he's definitely out of Smash in his amiibo form. So, hold on, we got more. Okay. <laughs> okay, Etika, you will learn so much if you play the older games. This one is so easy compared to 5. Eh, I guess so. Hey. But... I mean, this is the one that's um, really popular right now, so I'll, I'll play this one. Hey, Corn, I got a question for you. If you could save the world at the cost of your life, would you? Save the world. That's a very vague statement, my man. Like, do you mean have it so humanity never has to undergo a problem ever again? That's kind of unrealistic, but if that was literally possible, then yeah, oh. sure. You would. It's very selfless of you. I do the same, I think. But giving up your life for a cause affects many others, too. Such a noble sacrifice is a cost that your friends and family pay as well. Real shit, Robin. Something to keep in mind if you're ever faced with such a decision. Sorry. Sorry, I don't really know why I even brought all that up. Here, I'd like to give you something in thanks to listening to my musings. Use it in good health, now, and until we meet next, friend. You got Robin's books? The hell is that? Robin's books. Where are they? Are they here? No. Or was it something that you can get from the accessory shop, maybe? Because the last item he gave us, that dragon Welcome. feather. Oh yeah, Effie in here too? Moody Pwned? Everything I wear must be functional, but there is some cute stuff here. So wait a minute, I think we can see if we can equip his books. Or his tomes, rather. I was looking at the accessory shop earlier in terms of like how it just lets you. <laughs> it's so fucking weird, <laughs> but it's hilarious still. Um, yeah, I, we're not gonna spend our time in here too much. This is for off-camera stuff mostly. But I mean, wait a minute. Where is that? Where's his books at? I want to see how it looks. Robin's books. What? What the hell? Okay, that's a little weird, man. I I think I know for a fact that Robin doesn't really walk around with a fucking bookshelf on his back. Strange giant... Wait, no, no. It says, a collection amassed by a famous tactician. I don't think Robin rocks out with a bunch of books on his back, dude. But... Alright. Okay. Let's just... Actually, no, I don't want to leave it on him. I think he looks kind of stupid with it. No, we're not going to buy anything either. We don't have money for that. Let's just go to change. All that shit is going to fall off. Yeah, I know. It's like totally not functional to walk around with a bookshelf on your back. Alright, so I think we're good finally. Alright, Moody. We'll see you later. I did put the pink barrette on her because I thought it fit. But I think a lot of people did that. So now we can do a little bit of support conversations, and then we can continue this. It seems like every time we scan the Robin Amiibo, all he's basically going to do is just come in and give us an item. I thought we'd be able to do something cool like add him to our party, but I guess you can't really add um, the Amiibo characters to your party, unless I'm missing something. Maybe you have to be a certain level. But alright, let us do some support. We have Corrin and Elise, so big bro, little sis, let's do it. Hiya! Elise, why are you throwing punches in the middle of the field? Ah, Corrin. I'm not really doing anything. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm just here to pick pretty flowers. Yeah, a pretty girl pricky, picking pretty flowers. I see, are you sure about that? 
But of course, I just wanted to make you a lovely bouquet. I'm just so sweet. Okay then, it seemed like an awful lot that you were practicing your punches. Fine, you caught me. You're just too clever for my devious um, deceptions. The truth is, lately I feel like I've been kind of a burden to everyone. I was hoping that if I trained secretly, I could become as strong as you are one day. At least, please don't say that. I promise you, no one thinks of you as a burden. Well, you're sweet to say that, Corin, and I love that you're always looking out for me. But that's exactly why I need to train. That way I can look out for myself instead. Well, this clearly means a whole lot to you. Oh, well, it means everything to me. Everything. Now see, watch this. Kapow! My killer left hook. Kaboom! My right fist of fury. Kapow, kaboom, and haya. <laughs> Goddamn. Wow, I'm impressed by your exuberance. Well then, if it means that much to you, I'll be happy to help you out. After all, training is twice as effective with two minds at work. You mean it? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best, and I love you the most. Oh lord. Well, you're very welcome. Now then, let's start with some cardio. Are you ready? Here I go. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cute. She does give me a very strong Lissa feel though, however. I don't know if it's official that the lease is Lissa. I don't think they specifically tell you which characters are like the remakes of the older ones, but very strong Alyssa feel there because Alyssa had the same doubts about herself being useful to the army, so she would always go under those crazy missions that Krom doesn't approve of and get in trouble with him, all for the sake of her trying to seem more useful. It's admirable, but a little dumb. Hopefully, hopefully Elise doesn't do anything else stupid to, co to, to compromise the party's efforts like she did in the ice village. Scan him again and you can add him. You think so? Oh, or you probably know so at this point. Elise is her own person? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know she's probably not Lissa, per se. So, Link Master says, if you scan the Robin Amiibo again, you can actually fight him. And I'm guessing if you fight him, then you can recruit him to your team. Very interesting. So now let's do some support with Effie. Let's do Arthur first. Although, I'm not really feeling Arthur too much as a character. He's funny for comedic relief, but like I've said before, when it comes to comedy, it's harder to speak to me through comedy than it is through serious situations when it comes to games that are supposed to kind of captivate you, you know what I mean? So Arthur being kind of a joke character, it's hard for me to really kind of take him seriously to the point where I want to use him a lot, but he's still interesting to have around. So, greetings, Effie. Can you spare a moment to discuss something out of dire of dire importance? Arthur, what's going on? Is Lady Elise okay? Haha. -ha. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you. But what I say next may shock and disturb you to your very core. Sound like BuzzFeed. What are you waiting for? Effie, I believe we need to have a chat. We're having a chat right now. <laughs> now will you hurry up and get to the point? <laughs> Certainly, Effie. I believe that I'm falling behind in my Elise guarding duties. I see your dedication to her in every aspect of your life. And I'm envious. Please, I must know your secret. Well, there's no secret, but what you said about my dedication is definitely accurate. I'm more than just a retainer, I'm a best friend, and everything that I do is for her. That doesn't mean that you should feel bad. You're her hero, you know? It warms my ears to hear such praise, but I fear it is not enough. Our battles grow fiercer by the day, and I must know the secrets of your strength. Oh, well my strength comes from my training. You're welcome to join me for a workout or a sparring session anytime. Fantastic. I look forward to battling to the death of my energy. To the death of my energy. Is that not a common expression? No. My mistake. <laughs> this nigga Arthur is a weirdo, yo. I don't know, guys. Something about the support conversations in this game so far, they seem a little bit weird to me. Or maybe it's something that's changed with me. But is it just me, or do they seem a bit more awkward now? Or a bit more forced? Maybe. Being honest, I don't know, I mean, it seems to me like the things that tie all these characters together are a little less easy to see currently right now in Conquest as they were in later stages of Awakening. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I mean, there's still a very unified cause here, but now, since, what is Nor's biggest adversary, right? Hoshido, but I don't really see them as a foe or an opponent, at least from my perspective as a player, because Hoshido is full of family, and you know, they're not necessarily the bad guys, as we all know. So maybe maybe there's not as much to tie all these guys together, because there is no threat. Hoshido, I don't really see as the, 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 the danger to Nor. So who's the bad guy here, you know? And 
if they're not the bad guy, then who unifies all these guys to be together in this party in the first place? I guess the point of this whole thing currently right now is to have Corrin prove himself to Garen? Is that really the plot? That's fully the plot right now. Kind of hard for me to see peril in a plot like that, but we'll see where it goes, man. We know Fire Emblem's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve. Let's see how Effie interacts with Odin. 850. Oh, God. Effie, we gotta talk. Are you listening to me? I said we gotta talk. God damn, what are those? Push ups? Effie. What? Why are we yelling? I heard you've been spreading rumors about me and telling people that I'm weird. How dare you? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I'm talking to you. Stop squatting that tree trunk, will you? Oh, she's doing squats. We all know what happens when a girl does squats. <laughs> oh lord. Um, hey, sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Can we talk later? No, this is important. Why did you tell people that I was weird? Or do you deny it? Answer me. <laughs> yeah, I said that. So what? It wasn't meant as an insult, just an observation. I mean, you are weird, or do you deny it? Anyways, can I get back to my squats now? I'm really behind on my training. I'm not weird. I'm hyper normal. So normal that normal people can't even understand me. Which I guess means that they probably think I'm weird. Damn it. Well, glad we can clear that up. Oh, and also, I was going to tell you about a new training technique that I've been working on. It's practically doubled my strength, but it seems like you're busy, so... Doubled your strength? Well, now you got my attention. Sorry, gotta go. This nigga Odin is such a weirdo. But he's so cool. <laughs> he's so cool at the same time, man. Yo, man, I don't know. Something about his aching blood, yo. It, it worked. Now we have Elise and Arthur, so maybe she can give him some tips on how to feel better about himself. I am coming, Lady Elise. Hold on a minute. What did Link Master say to me? Link Master's my dude, man. All the Fire Emblem Amiibos need to be scanned three times in order to fight them and recruit them. Really now? Okay. So I'll try to do that as soon as possible. That final scan. Your royal... Wait, excuse me. Your loyal Arthur rides to the rescue. Stay your feel for heart. A thousand apologies. A thousand apologies, milady. I did not mean to keep you waiting. To think. If you had been accused... Excuse me. Accosted? I gotta look up that word too. I gotta like write down a whole list of words I need to look up. That's one thing I love about Fire Emblem, man. It expands your vocabulary. I cost it. There we go. Okay, let's continue. To think, if you had been accosted by thugs and it took me so long to reach you. Oh no, don't worry, Arthur. It's nothing like that. I just had a question I wanted to ask you. Well, I'm a man of little learning, but if it can help, then please ask away. You're a man of justice, right? So I was wondering. Is there anything you wouldn't do to help someone in trouble? No, I would stop at nothing to save even a single person from harm, lady. We have a new sponsor by the name of Chris Kessel. Thank you to you, my friend. We have those benefits in the description. You can check those out, interact with the other sponsors. It's always cool in the sponsor chat, so I think it's worth taking a look. If it's possible for you to watch it during the stream, I don't know how, because you know, it's kind of hard if you don't have a desktop. If you're using your phone and trying to be on the sponsor chat, it's kind of hard, but hopefully you can figure it out, man. If a milk lady lost a child, I'd scour the entire globe for that little babe. If an old man could no longer walk, I myself would serve as his legs as long as need be. Wow, so cool. If someone sobbed a single sob, I would tickle them until they smiled. Oh no, and it, it had to go out at that moment. This t oh god, come on, capture card. Stressing me out. Uh, I suppose I needn't go on. You get the idea. Yeah, you, can, you, you didn't really have to. I am who, I was always, who I've always been. Destroyer of evil and champion of the weak. I am Arthur, the hero of justice. Okay. Wow, you sound so gallant. Is there anything that you can't do? Not a thing in the world, milady. Except for fucking fix this capture card. Jeez, Arthur, you're amazing. You're not just a hero. You're like an ultra hero. Ultraman. You flattered me too much, my leech. Now, why did you ask me all this? Is there something that ails you? If anything troubles you, I vow right now to vanquish it for you, right in its evil face. Really? Well, Arthur, I actually... Never mind. Wait, Lady Elise, I beg of you. If there's something at all, you have to tell me. I have sworn to aid you in all things. You know this. Yeah, I know. Sorry, pretend you didn't hear anything. 
There are just some things that even an ultra hero of justice stuff can't do. So, see ya. By my level loin protector, that girl can be a mystery sometimes. Not as mysterious as Azura. But alright, so now we are pretty much done here. I'm gonna save the game. Are you guys ready? Oh, we have some interesting tip from Danny. Danny Alves in the sponsor group. He said, You can do the app split on Android. You can watch the stream on YouTube and open the sponsor chat through your browser. I tweeted a screenshot, my boy. Alright. So that's an option too. If you are watching from your phone and you kind of have trouble using the sponsor chat, Alright, so now we are finally ready to move onward after how long? 34 minutes? I'm gonna save the game one more time because I'm fucking paranoid as hell. Big thanks to the sponsors though, man. <laughs> Here we go, and now we are going to continue. So. Didn't expect that, did ya? Let's do it. Invasion 1? What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Is this something that we should do? Invasion 1. Is this a castle invasion? Oh, this is somebody else coming to our world just to fuck us up. I I think I understand. Yeah. My castle invasion. Alright, well right now I don't want to do all that. I just want to get to the chapter 9. I just want to get to chapter 9. So, another trial. Let's see what's going on. We I know that nigga Iago, Iago has been up to no good. So we're back at Krakenberg. <laughs> so clever little Corin has returned home. We're about to get a little bit of backstory, I think. And he's carried out my order in an alarmingly competent fashion, no less. Well done, child. Ha 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 ha. Well then, I'll just have to give my dear son a truly agonizing mission now, won't I? You may enter. Your Majesty. Oh no, this nigga's up to no good. King Garin, Corin has returned. And it seems like he managed to quell the rebellion without sacrificing a single life. He has requested an audience with you, my liege. What should I tell him? Hmm. Well, tell him I've received the message and I'll be there momentarily. Of course. Consider it done. My nigga, Yago. Hold on, man. Let me. I, I, I realize the TV's on. Probably might be distracting you niggas. The capture card is distracting me. Shit. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, you gotta be careful with this thing. We back. Yes. I have returned. Mm. And gloriously so, I might add. Iago told me of your impressive feat. Stopping a rebellion without taking a single life is no small accomplishment. Uh, well done, Corrin. I'm proud of you. As promised, I will now welcome you back into the royal family. Well done, my son. Thank you. Thanks. I can't tell you how much this means. Everything's to me. okay. I told you all would be well in the end. Good job, Corin. Yes. Thanks, Xander. However. Well, there's one small problem, King Garen. My sources tell me that Corin did not carry out his mission alone. This is what we were worried about. Uh. Iago, that was unnecessarily cruel, even for you. What? Is this true, Corin? Did you or did you not face the Ice Tribe alone? Uh. It is true. I didn't face them alone. I sent my own... Wait, excuse me. I set out on my own as ordered, but along the way I ran into trouble. Felicia, Silas, and Elise came to help me, and I couldn't have done it without them. I'm sorry for defying you in that regard, Father. I beg of your forgiveness. So you not only f defied my holy orders... HOLY ORDERS?! You mean from fucking Baphomet on the ceiling? And involved not only retainers, but also your sister. This behavior is just can't be tolerated. Right, King Garen? He betrayed the wishes of the divine dragon, Anankos. Such sacrilege demands a swift and severe punishment. If you ask me, 
we should put an end to Corrin once and for all. Why does Iago want to fucking kill this dude so bad? Like, this nigga is sucking Garen's cock on a regular basis. Stop. What's the deal? Iago, that's never gonna happen, and I won't let it. Corrin never asked us to follow him. We did what we did that on our own, and it's not his fault. So if the punishment is death, you'll have to kill me too. At least don't dear, don't don't fuck around. Don't you say that, dear sister. I'm not worth dying. Listen well. Quiet, both of you. Father, if you must punish someone, punish me. I was the one who told the others to tag along and to help Corrin with his mission. If death is the price for this indiscretion, then it is I and I alone who will pay. Mm. Shit! Sam Xander! Damn, this dude's trying to soak up all the fucking blame. Holy shit. Father, kill me or kill no one. That's all there is to it. Enough. Oh, Lord. I have no intention of harming any of my beloved children. This, yeah, this capture card is fucking me up, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep my finger here or something. Okay. Though it was not exactly as I requested, he did accomplish his mission. By the grace of Anankos, I shall let this pass. He is, after all, still my son. Bullshit! Something else is being cooked up. King Garen, you can't mean that. Thank you. Thank you, Father. And you too, Xander. Thank you for looking after me even at the risk of your own life. Think nothing of it, little prince. Such is the duty of an older brother. Hmm. Well, I gotta admit, my child, I never thought that you would pull off such a grand feat. Given your ability for combat, I shall waste no time in assigning you a new mission. Huh? A new mission so soon? Skills like yours must be put to good use. I'd like you to head for Notre Sagas. Notre Sagas? I need you to capture that territory and bring it under Norian well. rule. Notre Sagas, huh? As you Listen wish, Father. Well. I've heard that the place is even now teeming with Hoshidan soldiers. I know it's teeming, but tem. The Hoshidans are taking steps to topple Nor and all we that we hold dear. Such bad seeds must not be allowed to take root. Head there immediately and eradicate any Hoshidan soldiers you find along the way. You want me to fight against the Hoshidan army? That ain't a problem, is it? Oh, and after that, are you reluctant to raise a sword against the kingdom of your birth? Not a problem at all. I'm a Norian through and through. I will carry out your mission without fail, father? Corrin! I don't like that. Not fail me. Yes. I won't. Good Lord, Corin. Oh Lord. Hold on a minute, your boy KK donated fifty dollars, dude. It wasn't gonna show <laughs> up, dude. Oh my God, dude donated fifty dollars, saying, "What's up? It's your boy." KK, you may remember me in the t-shirt donations. Bruh, I didn't get to say it last time, but I've been a sub since Attack on Titan, and I love your content. P.S. If you want Lissa in Fate's, um, Odin's daughter? What? If you want Lissa in Fate's Odin's daughter. Oh, really now? So his child is Lissa, who is his mom in Awakening. That's pretty funny. But yo, KK, man. Thank you big time, dude. That was you, you shouldn't have done it because it wasn't going to show up. But I do appreciate it nonetheless, man. The support has, is insane. You said you've been around since AOT. That's a long fucking time, man. And you're in the streams. You're showing love even now. Obviously, you got a thing for me, man. I do appreciate it, bro. I've seen you around all the time. You, you got, man, you've done, oh, you've done more than enough to help support your boy, dude. Thank you big time. And take care, Corin. Even when we are apart, we know that you're still, we just know that we are still with you in spirit. Poor thing. Poor thing. Oh, Camila. Oh, God. It sucks, Camila. We, we can't even spend any quality time with our sister here because, you know, we're always off on missions of Garen trying to fuck us up. It doesn't seem fair going on a mission like that with such a small army. I'd go with you, but Father tasked us with a mission of our own. I really I really wish that there was something that we could You'll do to be help. All right. Well, don't worry, Camila. We'll be fine on our own, right, at least? You know it. Yeah, that's right. We'll be just dandy. With me and my retainers on your side, we'll be back home in no time flat. <sighs> Elise is going too? Now I'm really worried. It was nice knowing you, Corin. Leo! <laughs> Leo is such a badass! Oh my lord. Oh lord. Hey, that's not funny, Leo. Why would you say such a terrible thing? <laughs> He's just trying to get a rise out of you, Elise. You know that nigga's trolling. That nigga Leo is a fucking troll through and through. You know I'm counting oh, on thanks. you. Thanks, Corin. That's why you're my favorite. 
because you aren't mean and stupid like Leo. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn, Leo. That nigga. That nigga catching heat all the time, man. Alyssa. I'm <laughs> sorry, Elise. I, I always say Alyssa, but Elise. Didn't she slap the shit out of him before? Yeah. Ah. Even after spending time on the battlefield, you're somehow still the same spoiled brat. It's actually quite impressive. <laughs> See, Elise? I'm not mean at all. I just said you impressed me. <laughs> that nigga is a savage. I'm so glad I joined Conquest. So I could see this nigga do his job and just roast people. Xander, make Leo stop teasing me. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. <laughs> Leo, please stop. Elise is catching that work, my Listen. man. Corin, listen well. The mysterious Rainbow, Rainbow Sage resides in Notre Sages. He grants divine power to those he deems worthy. Seek him if you have the courage. Wow, is that so? I never knew that such a being existed, and much less in Notre Sages. But wait, if you know about him, does that mean that you receive divine power? It is true. Father and I have visited the Sage when we were gifted with his power. So what kind of power is it? Siegfried? It was a great honor. Uh, let me see. However, be aware that you will have to face severe trials first. If you do decide to seek out the Sage's challenge, make sure that you're prepared. Understood. I see. Well, thanks to the advice, Xander. I gotta become as strong as possible so that I can end this war once and for all. I got no choice but to seek out the Sage and face whatever trials he has I in see. store. As expected. I look forward to seeing your new power when you return safely. Thank you. Thank you, Xander. Well, I suppose I better get going. Goodbye, everybody. Good luck. Later. Please. Peace. Oh, don't worry. I will be. I will be. We got to come back through so we can spend more time with Camila and Leo. That dude Leo is a monster, man. Fort Dragonfall. Well. The fort up ahead is enormous. Silas, are we supposed to pass through that? Yes. We are. The road, that, uh, excuse me, the road that leads to the port is on the other side. Amazing. It looks kind of like a gigantic sleeping dragon. You're on fire! You're so keen, Corrin. That place is called Fort Dragonfall. It's some big old dragon that died a long time ago. Fort Dragonfall? Tell you me more. Know it. Well, rumor has it that the dragon was incredibly powerful. They say that when it died, its body became this very fort. I see. So this is a dragon from a long time ago. How awe-inspiring. Understand? It is, isn't it? But the fort is now occupied by the Hoshidan army. We have to fight them off if we want to get through. Right. Fate really is cruel. Well, I suppose that we have no choice. We got to get to Notre Sages so that I can complete my mission and find the sage. I'll have to face the Hoshidan army eventually. It's now or never. I'm Understood. ready. I can do this. Understood. Well, in that case, let us prepare for battle before they spot us. Let's fucking do it, man. So we are on the way to Notre Sages. This is not the actual place, but just us passing through Dragon Force. So time to strategize. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, now I think we're good. So, let's see what we're dealing with. Obligatory RIPs in the chat, please. Let's see what we're working with. Fucked up capture card, that's what. Okay, we're gonna zoom out here. Seize! That is the goal, huh? What do we have to seize, my man? Call acid rain. Oh, good lord. Azora's here? Oh, shit. What the fuck is she doing here? Wow. Okay, that's kind of scary. A spear fighter.
Why is Azura here? Who the hell is this? Nyx? Probably somebody that we can recruit. What are you? Oh, that's pretty good. Interesting. So we have Nyx. So we probably have to recruit her. I don't see what it is that we have to seize, however. Is it this? The throne! Okay, so we need to seize that shit. Alright. Okay. We gotta be careful. Hmm, let's see here. A new sponsor by the name of Alien. Thank you for that, my man. You got the benefits in the description, so you can check that out. Other sponsors are in there as well, too. Um, we're going to try to do these streams more often, so that way you can get more out of your sponsorship. But I appreciate it. I'm a little tired right now. I'm trying to focus hard on this to see if I'm making good moves or not. But thank you regardless, man. Really do appreciate it. Hold on, so let me see. What is your attack? Let's see these skills, man. Seal defense after combat reduces enemy defense by six. That's not good. Mio spawns hype for my man Alien. Seal defense. Reduces enemy defense by six. Jesus. That's gonna be a problem. And these guys, they have fucking um, vantage. We already know what that does. At the start of the battle, if you're below 50% HP, you attack first. Lon Ku was a master with that shit. Very tricky units that we're dealing with here. Underdog. If a foe's level is higher, you get hit and avoid plus 15. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Don't move Azura. Azura's on our team? Oh god, she is on our team. Holy shit. Luck plus four. Okay, this is a little scary. She's on our team. Damn it. Hmm. There we go. Drops your defense by six, though? Like, shit. We have a lot of defense with Effie, but not a whole lot. Not to be taking six, a six modifier and negative and then. Hmm. So Effie's gonna be super important here. Guard Naginata is gonna be our best friend, basically. Spear fighter, spear fighter. Gotta keep the guys with the skills in order here. Take out Effie, keep Arthur. Mm, no. Let me see, let me see, let me see. 
Maybe we can get a rescue going, because Azura's gonna get fucked up down there. Maybe we can get a rescue going. Range 10. Even if we go here, it wouldn't be enough. We kind of got to rush in. Wait a minute, so let's see. What does this guy do? This is going to be a little wild. And then we have Azura here. She can... What can she do? She can sing? Wait, no, she can sing, but... She can activate the Dragon Band thing? I don't think we need to worry about Azura if, if, the, if the guard is not going to move. If you want to have a tough time, go ahead and fight those enemies up at the front. If you want to have an easier time, go down and break through the wall. You can break through the fucking wall? The wall. Oh. Defense 8. 10 defense. Why is it so high? Because you have a spear? Okay, so we got our tips. Um, we need firepower in this map. We need firepower. So right now, now is not the time to use Moza. We need Arthur. Please stop donating, guys. The donations are not on. I don't, I don't have the focus to split right now. Please stop donating. I. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go from the front. Fuck it. We got the body for it. It's combat that you initiate, right? After combat, regardless of who initiates it, that's not fucking good. Okay. A little reckless here, but whatever. We don't really have a solid strategy, but I'm down. But after combat period, huh? After combat period. How very annoying. What a nuisance. I might have known the Hoshidan army would be here. There's a young girl in there. We've got to take her into custody. Blah, blah, blah. Children barely out of the room to capture a grown woman. Pathetic. It makes me sick. That's why I usually choose to remain hidden from the ignorant masses. She seems cool to like the archer. Once again, here I am, dragged to some horrible place with no explanation. It is it is it my destiny to be forever tossed aside, a stranger to all lands? Maybe the Norians will accept me, or perhaps this is where I die. Well, it is out of my control. If only I was a Hoshiden by birth. I knew if and when the war began that I would be among the first casualties. At least in the end. Dragon Vane. Is that a dragon vein that I sense? Well, I do recall hearing that this fort was built from the remains of a dark dragon. Perhaps it can be used to attack those within the fort. Siege. Simple enough. Locks. So, we can open those with um, my man Odin, right? Hmm. Okay. I, I get it. I see. Let's play safe. Let's play smart. So you, you're going to be somewhat of uh, important to recruit. So let's do that right now, actually. In fact, although I'm not sure what these units are going to be doing if they try to move in. If they all try to come in at the same time, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a big, big problem.
Let's do something a little foolish. Hmm. They're gonna be doing attack stance out the ass, right? Attack stance, definitely. So. Okay. Fucking capture card. Hello? Can you work? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this thing is so fucking fucked, man. Okay, I'm not getting anything out of it anymore. Huh. Hold on, let's go to the browser. Jesus Christ, man. I think it's getting worse. Like, every single time I use it on stream, man, this thing acts up more and more. It might not be too long until it fucking craps out for good. trying to position ourselves so we can make a counterattack if we need to, but at the same time also be good enough to good enough to um, save her. Now Azura. From what Link Master told us, apparently She'll be good as long as we kind of um we have Soul Deity joining the sponsor group. What is up, Soul? Please tell wait, man, if, as a matter of fact, no, you've joined the sponsor group before. I remember seeing your name. Did you unsponsor and then re-sponsor? Well, whatever the reason as to why you may have done that, I appreciate you joining back on board. Big thank you to you. What the fuck was that? Skill. Rally defense. Okay, so you have rally. What's this? Strong repost. The unit deals plus three damage when counterattacking. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's keep track of that danger zone. I'll wait till they go back around. Now, Corin, talk to her. Well. Hey, miss, what are you doing out here? You're definitely not a Hoshidan soldier. It's dangerous out here, young lady. Come over to our side and we'll protect you. Your family must be worried sick. Yes. Uh, I'm no young lady, and I neither require or, den or excuse me, I neither require or desire your paltry protection. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Listen, child. Are you? Oh, god damn. Okay, she's she's fierce. Um, are you as deaf as you are dumb, boy? Be gone before I curse you into oblivion. What? Boy, you're one to talk. You look around the same age as my little I'm sister. Looking for trouble, but... Appearances can be deceiving, child. I'm afraid my situation is far beyond your ability to comprehend. All I want is to live in solitude and to avoid the harsh gaze of the world around me. Is that really too much to ask? Oh. No, not at all, man. People on the internet do it all the time. Does that mean that you're all alone, that you don't have a mm -hmm. family? My family left a long time ago, and they were frightened of me and my abilities. 
They thought I was strange, and maybe I am. Who needs a family anyways? I'm not sure why I told you all that. Your eyes are trustworthy and calming. So yes, intrusive stranger, I am all alone and I shall remain so for all of my no. days. No, I can't accept that. Why don't you join my team? We'll be your family from now on. What are you saying? You know nothing about me or my dark yes. past. That's true, but the past doesn't matter. Only the present and the future. Besides, you can't evade the Hoshidan army all by yourself. You kind of need us. Trust me, I know what it's like to feel lost and alone, and that's no way to live. If my friends and family hadn't come to my aid, I wouldn't be alive right now. Everyone needs someone to lean on. Stranger, please join us. <laughs> I really shouldn't leave such a helpless little lady alone anyways. Ugh, for crying I... out loud! Yeah, she's cool. I already told you that I'm much older than I appear, insolent fool. Or perhaps that was, what is it called, a humorous joke of sorts? Are you trolling me? Maybe you have a point. I suppose it would be advantageous to join you, for now. It has been a while since I had any sort of companionship. It might be nice. Well then fine. Since you insist, I'll sh I'll sh I shall join your ranks. Use my power as you see fit. Excellent, so we have Nyx. Phew. Oh, since we're on the same side now, I'll let you in on a little secret. You see that wall over there? It has a weak spot. It should break if you attack it. That knowledge should help us prevail over the Hoshidan army. Okay, so right now we got Nyx on our side. That's cool. Uh, reminiscent of Tharja in a sense, but different in some ways. Uh, let me see. Nyx, so what? Wait, so let's see what you're capable of here. You have magic of 12, and your attack is 16. And you have this skill which allows us to um, give damage as long as. A we as ugh, I'm tired today. It allows you to give damage alongside with um, fighting someone. We have lag. We got lag in the building? Jesus. Hold on a minute. Lag Attica, do donations so do donations so up from silver apps. No, donations are off right now. I listed it in the description specifically. They're off. Okay. Okay, so Hmm. So we need someone to pull in. So let's move Nyx here for now. Just gonna wait that out. Wait that out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I got a strategy. I got a strategy. So that dude really is doing patrol. What would this do? Call Acid Rain to drop all units HP to 1. It would do it for this area here. Right, but that's valuable experience right there. Well, we can we can utilize that last minute if things get hairy. I just want to make sure I see what that guard's patrol is going to be, like how far around is it going to go. All right, so now time to start making moves, man. Silas, move your ass out of the way. Move over here. Wait it out. Wait that out. Corn, come through. Be able with Effie. Actually, wait, no, no. How, how many? Would Effie be able to give him defense? You better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, good. So now, pair up with Effie. Start pulling niggas in. We're gonna switch with Corn. Have his um, Dragonstone on. Maybe we should do his Norian Blade. Let's see. How, it raises your defense by it's up to 20. 23. Dragonstone raises your defense up to 24. So, you know what? Let's keep the Dragonstone on, man. We'll wait it out. And now we are going to pull Odin in close. Pull everyone in close. Got a lot of fucking, um... These units don't really have resistance like that, so this is actually a good thing for us. Let's keep them there. And for now, a prayer. Wait it out. No double attacks, at least, will be able to fuck us up. Come through. Lower your volume, boys. We dying in here. What do you mean? So now these niggas are going to be able to lower our defense, right? But that's okay.
Hmm. Alright, so Corian, why don't you... Now, Arch is going to be kind of annoying, to be honest with you, so let's take that dude out. Actually, their danger zone. I'm going to just keep track of that shit. Turn the overall danger zone off. We're going to keep that one there. Orin, come through here. I guess I gotta pull him in more. So let's attack you with the... Yeah, let's just finish him off for now. It makes things a lot easier for us. So we're gonna go through with the Norian Blade since that'll keep our defense high. Although, that danger zone... There'll be four niggas. They'll be able to get double attacks out the ass. But then again, we're with Effie, so we wouldn't be able to. We wouldn't have to worry about that. Let's keep the Dragon Stone on. Keep our defense high for when they use that skill to lower our shit. Okay. Next, we are going to move over here. Turn the danger zone back on. That nigga's coming through. Let's just wait out of his range. Meanwhile, we're going to move these guys out of the way. But you can't move out the way. First up, let's get our at-risk units out. Okay, so Odin, why don't you move down here? Right there. Nyx, you wait there. Next, we're going to move... Oh, um, we're going to move Arthur here. Go with Silas. It's fine. Pair up. At least... Stay far back, my girl. Wait it out. Separate. And now we have... Alicia, you're gonna stay over here. And Niles, yeah. Niles, you you, start, you, you go there. Alicia, you go here. There we go. Let him come through. Smart. CPU really is intelligent. They they really they really are smart. Like they know what the fuck they're doing. It's interesting. But okay, so now. We're going to have to be really strategic with this shit. What should we do? Hmm. Now's our chance to kill these dudes that lower your defense. Now's our fucking chance to do that shit. To just fucking el eliminate them. We're going to have to be careful though because our movement range is reduced thanks to that fucking terrain. The waste? That waste terrain is so detrimental to us, man. We're really going to have to play carefully around that shit. But for now, what I'm going to do is turn off the danger zone. How possible would it be for these dudes to attack us? Very impossible. They won't be able to. As long as Odin's able to kill this guy. Which I'm really, really hoping you'll be able to do in one hit, Odin. Odin, I'm counting on you and your aching blood, alright? Just letting you know. Because if you don't come through and kill this dude, Odin, then we're going to have a problem. In fact, I kind of don't trust you, to be honest with you. There's waste there, though, so he's not going to... No one's really going to be able to... Yeah, that waste is not good, man. Maybe just pair up with Nyx. What do you give him? Magic plus three, resistance. If you don't get the kill, Odin, then it's going to have to be Corrin that gets the kill. And that'll waste our resources, so... Hopefully the thunder kills him. Aching blood. Whew. Tough one. Tough one? What do, you, what do you mean? That was nothing for you, man. Now we can do something interesting. I want to take out these fuckers that have that skill on them. Norian Blade, huh? 
We don't even get two hits with it. But the practice comes. Well, we're in the bushes right now. Oh, no, no, we're not in the bushes right now. We're in the regular plane. Oh. I thought we were in the bushes. Effie. If you attacked with your... With your guard, Naginata, you could kill him in one hit. And we wouldn't have to necessarily worry about our defense as much because the guard, Naginata, raises your defense. So, if you had this on, it would raise it to 22. You lower it a bit, it's fine. Because we don't have any double attacks, we don't really have to worry too much about that. So, you know what? Yeah, Effie, you're gonna do for the kill. You're gonna go for the kill with the guard, Naginata. Hopefully, you have good accuracy with this whole thing. 89%. Not as high as I would like it to be, but for the one-hit KO and killing that dude with the skill, I'll take it. You'll be all right. What the fuck is that thing? Jesus. What a workout. Damn. What the hell was that? That was pretty cool. Alright, so now... And she doesn't get the lowering effects. It said here for the skill that it was, um, after combat, reduces enemy defense by six. There are some skills that specifically say, like the poison one, if you initiate combat, they get poisoned. This one doesn't say you have to initiate it, it just says after combat, period. But I guess if he gets killed in one shot, that's not really a combat, so we're good. In that case, I ain't even worried about, I ain't worried about nothing. Except for Azura. But it seems like she's okay, as long as she stays out of that dude's range. So we're going to keep her parked here for now. And we'll utilize that strategy with the acid rain later on. But for now, I want to keep playing these games with these niggas. They're totally avoiding Effie. They know for a fact, Effie don't fuck around. So that's actually good for us. We can start to go to town on these guys now. Things aren't as risky anymore. All we got to do is kill this fucker. So let's see here. There's a lot of games that we can play. Who needs the experience the most? We have Arthur. He needs the experience the most, but being real with you, I really, I'm really not feeling Arthur too much as a character. I mean, maybe that's just me. I like Odin a lot more. If anything, I want Odin to get this experience points, because, I mean, that nigga is fucking cool as hell. These niggas aren't even attacking Effie, though. That's hilarious. They know for a fact, yeah, that girl's gonna fuck us up. Let's just totally avoid that situation. So, this is fine, then. We don't need... Alright, let's see. We're gonna go in there. Wait. Let's go in there with Silas, my man. My nigga Silas. You ain't gonna do as much as I want you to do, though, my boy. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go in there with Felicia. She's gonna start giving us the stats that we need with her shuriken. Sizo Star. Although, they'll be doing a lot of damage to us. So all we can do is move back a space. But we have waste there, I think, right? Yeah, we have waste. So we move forward a space then, right? Sizo's Star. Who should catch the work? The nigga that has the skill, most likely. Yeah, go in there with Sizo Star. Will it be... Um, what's the range that it gives you the strength boost again? Grants allies within two spaces. If she goes here... It wouldn't be... Damn, it wouldn't be... Um, close enough. Unless we do something interesting. How do we spare Silas's movement? I really want Silas to get the kill. Or we could just weaken someone. That's always an option too. Yeah, let's, let's not let's not let's not be too let's just play things a little safer here. We're gonna switch to foreign. Attack with the Dragonstone, or you can attack with the Auto Blade, but that'll kill him. So Dragonstone, why not? This might lower our defense since it's combat. But, whatever. I mean, because he's not going to die to it. Your man's going to try to attack me, but we're doubled up, so no attack. Block it. So now this might lower our defense. It does. Okay, then. So as long as he hits us, then defense is lowered. But it's fine. Because Korn still has 18 fucking defense. So it's like... Weakened by 6, but I still have 18. Oh, woe is me. And now... Let's move in with Odin, actually. Take out that fucker. Because being real with you, I don't like him. Although he has a double. Well, no, he has a couple of people able to jump in. So 
Alicia. What can you do with your flame shuriken? Oh, yeah, you could definitely fuck up someone. Alright, so you know what we're gonna do? We're going to play this a little smart here. We're gonna move up, attack you with Odin. We'll be able to get the kill. You better be able to hit that Odin. You better be able to hit that Odin. 84% Odin. Thank you. Overdid it. Again. <laughs> what the hell? How much dialogue does this dude have in the game? Like, this dude seems like he has something new to say every single time he kills someone. There we go. Now we have the flame shuriken with two hits. That's a guarantee. Or we could have Silas do it. We could just have Felicia weaken him and then Silas go in. Felicia go weaken him. Oh, yeah, cue the Etika is dead thing in the chat now. Seems like that's a popular thing to do. Second you move anyone, Etika is dead, right? Okay, so now we're going to use the... I don't want to totally obliterate him, but he's going to do a lot of damage to us. So, is the damage worth it at the end of the day? Just to weaken him for Silas? Yeah, because Felicia, if she kills him, she's not going to get too much in return. We can use the fruit knife. Such are the whims of fate! Such are the whims of fate. Fruit knife, recover HP. Wait a minute. Oh, it recovers it at the end of the turn? When equipped, use it to restore... Oh, oh, wait a minute. I don't... It restores it at the beginning of the battle? Maybe that's it. Alright, and now we are going to go in with this. We're going to attack him. Actually, no. Move in front. Attack him now. 15, 100 with the iron sword. Yeah, we're going to play it safe. Silas! My boy! It's over. Okay. Now there's one nigga left. Let's see, what can we... Who can... Who can fuck around? Nyx, you're actually kind of higher level than I expected a newcomer to be, but that's, that's cool. So we don't really need these very Well, I want to see what you can do regardless, so let's go up in that nigga's face. Fimble Viter will do 14. That's actually pretty cool. Or we can have Arthur come through. But nah, he'll take a lot of damage. Or we can motherfucking have Niles even do the job. Niles has 16 attack. Okay, so I mean, we have options, man. Arthur, you can come here and you can attack that dude with a hand axe from far away. You better get lucky on me, Arthur. Throw that shit. Fimble Viter? Okay, and now we're going to have Nyx wrap it up with um, that. With that fire. Yeah, it'll kill him. One hit, go. I'll handle this miscreant. Yo, she look kind of. She look, she's looking okay. Definitely reminiscent of Tharja, that's for sure. And now we're going to leave Azura there. Remember, Azura, keep your pretty ass parked. There's a lot of experience for us to harvest from this mission, so let's heal you up. Okay, great. And now, Niles. That is my dude, to be honest with you. I like Niles a lot, man. He's really, really... He's really, really fast. Like, dude has a lot of speed on him, so... Alright, now we are good. We're going to... Well, we have a Zora, but we're just going to leave it there. Next move. That dude's going to continuously use a rally. Okay. How much defense is I giving these niggas? 12? No problem. We got double hit. So now let's continue moving. Corrin, you're going to move in and start baiting, my friend. This dude, though, he has Vantage. So we have to be careful of that. Vantage is going to be a little scary. As long as that dude continuously does those cycling rounds, we don't have to worry about Azora. So, now we are going to move Corrin into the danger zone. Because it'll pull in this guy. You have what? Duelist Blow? Grant avoidance plus 30 when the unit initiates combat. It's actually pretty good. Switch. 
maybe? Actually, yeah, we'll switch because you have a lot of the defense right now, Effie. So we're going to leave you alone here. You have a lot of the defense. In fact, so much of the defense that that nigga's not even going to be able to do anything to you. Next, we're going to move with Odin. In fact, yeah, Odin. Then, everyone walk around the waist, please. Nyx. There we go, Odin, stay there. Elise, you're gonna wait there. Felicia, you're gonna go up there with Elise. You're gonna wait it out. And finally, Silas. Wait it out. Arthur, you just do what you do. Wait there. And. Yeah, Azura, you stay there. Boom, we're good. Let's continue with. So now they, they aren't coming in, even though we baited the shit out of them. So that means we're gonna have to go in for the first move. What is your range? Oh, we're fine. Let me see here. We can do something interesting. No, 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 we can't. Unless we pair up. We can do something interesting and go in there with Felicia, hit niggas with knives. But, no, there'll still be another unit to fight afterwards, so that's not really worth it. Let's just go in there for the kill right now. With the guard, Naginata. What level are you, Effie? Corn's level 12, Effie's level 9. Oh yeah, so you're not even as high as I thought you were. I thought you were like level 11. So now we can go in with Guard Naginata. That's good. And it'll kill the dude with Vantage. Maybe they both have Vantage. Yo, Effie is too fucking cool, yo. Moody Pwn's in the building, man. That's Moody right there. Well, that was easy. Of course. Good job. Am I too strong? A little bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Learn the skill Natural Cover. What the fuck is that? Natural Cover. This unit takes minus three damage when fighting in a space with a terrain effect. Nice. Okay, so now we can go in there with... Well, Niles. Is that dude going to try to attack us? Niles, move in. You're level nine. Odin, I really want you to gain some EXP, my boy, so why don't you move in there as well, too? We're gonna have also. Silas, yeah, you're not level 10 yet either, so Silas, Odin, and Niles. You guys are gonna be the focus for this game. Arthur, you, you can play the background for now. Nyx, you can kind of play the background as well, too. You're a bit powerful, my girl. Let's just keep moving in. Arthur, 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 get in there. Finally, Elise, you're gonna wait there. Meanwhile, Azor, you're fine. Continue, continue, continue. Despicable, despicable, despicable. Let's keep moving. So now, I really want Odin to get a kill, my man. He could get this kill. But I would like for him to get it himself by himself, but I mean. Test. You passed your test. What the hell is that supposed to mean, dude? Odin is such a scholar. Whoa, whoa! Yes, my true power is awakening at last. <laughs> awesome. Now, Niles, 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 Niles. How will this work out for you? Not good. Not good in the slightest. Not good in the slightest, holy shit. No, that's not gonna be an option for us, Niles. In fact, what we could do... Let's separate these guys first off. We don't really need the defense formation anymore currently, until we get here. So yeah, just, 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 just separate for now, that's fine, just separate. Actually, no, maybe they should remain together. Your HP is max, your HP is max. Let's keep track of the skills now. Let's not lose track of that. Underdog. Avoidance is what? Plus 15 if a foe is a higher level. Okay. You have underdog too? Okay. What about you? No skill? No skill here. Quick draw. Unit deals 4 plus damage when initiating. Okay. That's nothing for Effie. 
you don't have that thing that lowers your defense, do you? That lowering defense skill is the main concern. You dudes have it. There's a doubled up unit here too, huh? Alright, now that's dangerous. Let's keep track of it. It'll be interesting to fight. Alright, so now Effie, you're gonna come through with us. We're gonna switch it up. Corin, what's your defense at currently with the Dragonstone? It's at 21? That's fine. We're gonna, gonna deal with that. Odin. Actually, no, no, no. No, no, oh, excuse me. I said Odin. No. Odin's already used up. Niles, you're going to move here with us. Down. And meanwhile, everyone, just keep moving in. Keep moving in. We'll move Elise last. Arthur, you keep moving in with us. Silas. I really want you to get in there closer, my boy. Alright, and next, Nyx. Finally, Elise. There we go. You're good, my girl. Coin's defense should recover on this turn fully. It's at minus one now, isn't it? Minus three, never mind. Damn, he had a lot of fucking defense, but okay. It's fine. Let's continue. In fact, yeah, we're gonna move right into that danger zone of those two units down there. Let's pull them in. Despicable, despicable, despicable. Oh, we have a new sponsor by the name of Fire Drake Ultra. I recognize your fucking name. You've donated a lot before, too. Big thank you to you, Fire Drake. Finally, you're joining the sponsor chat. A lot of these names who I thought were already in the sponsor chat um, actually weren't. And it just goes to show, you know, not everyone, you know, is able to join right away. But eventually, the cool guys that are, have been around for a while, they find a way to get in there. And I'm glad you did. Because, you know, the sponsor chat is really chill, man. Big thank you to you, Fire Drake. Hold one of these. I'm not in one of the greatest moods right now, but we're trying to make this whole thing work. Thank you for coming through. I do appreciate it. Now we're going to move Odin into that motherfucker. So, Odin, I want you to go there. Just remember, we, got, we have units that we have priorities on right now. So, next we're going to move Silas in there. Silas needs a little bit more time, Barbara. And then and we have Niles. We're going to move Niles in. That's it, definitely. And Felicia, just to be on guard duty. Felicia is such a great unit to have around just for utility. Versatility, utility. She works in so many regards like that. And plus weakening, she weakens them. She heals niggas. And then she has the ability to finish people off on top of it all. Like, And plus she has the ability to power up other units around her just by attacking. Felicia as a maid, it's so fitting that her class name is Maid because she literally can do everything for you. It's so literal, it hurts. But she's a great unit overall. So much versatility with her. Only thing she can't do is take hits. But as long as you play safe with her, she can be one of your best units. Easily. Come through, nigga! Be careful. Don't forget to save Azura. No worries. Definitely will save that nigga's not gonna do anything to us, so we're fine. That dude is in our range. We don't. He he still didn't even come through to fight us. Okay, so you're really waiting until we are in the fuck zone. If we stand here, who can attack us? No, no. Ah, interesting. So only two. Interesting. Three. Go in. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Let's just let's not get too crazy. Alicia, you, you'll be the one that goes in. Wait there, Corin, your defense is at 23 now. You still have how many turns until... Okay, so, not too much. I should have healed by that turn. I forgot. I forgot. These niggas still aren't coming through? Then fine, we're gonna have to go in after them. Let's go in there and take someone out. Because these niggas think we're playing around, man. Norian Blade, or we can get to the Pratis Katana. No, that's dangerous. That's risky. So we're going to attack with the Dragon Sword. Definitely. These niggas are playing around, man. I ain't playing no games out here, dude. We can do this together. Ah! Up in level C with the Dragon Sword. Nice. And we can play those games too, man. Let's wait it out. Make your move. 
Wow, these niggas are bitch made. They ain't doing nothing out here in these streets. Oh my god, these niggas are bitch made, yo. These niggas are so bitch made. They aren't doing shit. Well, fine, we'll take out your archer then. That's fine with me. Good. Good, it's okay. Keep playing with me. Okay, so now the guard that's on patrol is actually moving in to fight us. So this is good, because now we have Azura with that chest key. We can get inside of a nigga's chest. Hit him up with the... Norian Blade will do 20. Yeah, Norian Blade, we have a lot of defense, so we'll switch to Norian Blade. I'll do my best. There we go. I did it! Good job. The reason why I'm keeping these two paired up is because double attacks are definitely a thing, and I feel like we could be under some danger if niggas decided to do attack stance next to us, so just playing it safe here, man. Alright, so now Odin! We gotta pull in some niggas. So, how do we do that? Defense minus 12, okay, okay. Gotta be careful of these fools. Here we go, finally! I'll be your shield. Norian Blade though, my man. And we have our shield gauge fully optimized here. And Norian Blade, thankfully, your speed isn't as good with it. So... You don't have to worry necessarily about double attacking and killing them when someone else can get the EXP. Very good. Everyone's getting weakened now. Perfectly. So they waited. The, com the CPU is intelligent. They knew. Wait until that nigga is like really in there and he switches to a different weapon. And then we attack him. Very intelligent CPU, man. But... Thankfully, you guys made it easier for me to pick you off here. So now we're well. We have that one nigga up there, and they kept they kept my man Corn trapped in the fucking. You're never gonna use Mozu again, are you, Yamasu? Now I'm gonna replace Arthur with Mozu after this. So now we can have Odin. I don't know, man. They they move so far in that it's kind of. Hmm. Hmm. What's your danger zone? Not too bad. Hmm, but we have that second unit. We can't forget about that nigga. We can't forget about that nigga. Hmm. All right, Niles. So you know what? We're gonna try to. We're gonna have to wipe him out on this turn. Let's go here. Corrin, what you're gonna do is you're gonna attack that dude, finish him off. I'm gonna switch with Effie, and since we know for a fact that we're not going to get the drop if we kill him, we can just kill him right now. The, the Hexlock Spear. Let's do it. I'll protect you. <laughs> well fought. Good job, Moody. And now we have that one unit left out there now, so now we can take advantage of that. We're gonna have Odin run in. Snipe that bitch. We're not gonna be able to do much to him, though. Hmm. So maybe with... And our Odin. No, no, no. We can still do something, Odin. We can still do something. I know Felicia can finish that dude off. Kill him. Who's at risk here? Uh, yes, Felicia will be at risk in this dude. But attack 22. Felicia's defense is 8. He would do a lot. Hmm. He would do 14, huh? But. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do that. This nigga, too. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, that's that's too damn that's too damn dangerous. 
Yep, we're gonna have to play safe for now. Because that nigga would be able to come through. Deuce, deuce. One, two, bam. No, no, as a matter of fact, no, no, no. It would be one. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Four units that are my main concern right now. We killed only one of them. Hmm. We wouldn't be able to really do too much on this turn. Unless we just let them fucking gang in on Effie. But then we wouldn't be close enough to finish them all off. And it would just be Effie harvesting all the experience points. Uh, or unless we go in there with Niles. Yeah, let's make a safe passage for us. Although this dude would definitely probably come down. Yeah, it would be this dude and that dude. They could do attack stance on us. Yeah, attack stance would suck here. We, we do have that bow that can lower that dude's stats. On a hit, the target suffers a uh, defense reduction. But does that mean I suffer a defense reduction too? Or? It's kind of risky to play around with right now, to be honest. We can just fuck around. That drop, defense four. Six twelve. Thirteen. Silas will be able to get the kill. Let's do it. As long as attack stance doesn't hit us in the face. Satsuna's Yumi would only have a sixty four percent chance of hitting him though. That isn't too good. 714. Unless we just go in there with silence after the fact. Do it. Go for it. Twice. Oh, and that defense drop. Shit. Forgot about that. Wait a minute. But we didn't. He didn't hit us. So how would we get the defense drop if he didn't hit us? Effie killed the dude. Oh, you have to kill him in one blow for the defense drop not to happen. It's not about if you... Oh, he has to be alive by the end of the battle for the defense to drop. Which means that... Shit. Okay. We're gonna have to pull some crazy rescue tactic. Alright. Well, at least now I know. Shit. Okay, well, let's pull out then. One, two, three, four, five. I can tap them there. They're up. Get them out. Get them out of here. Separate. There. Pull the rescue off. My girl. Get Odin the fuck. I mean, excuse Niles the fuck out of there. Good job. I did not realize that defense drop. Wait a minute, he's still in range? Oh, of course he would still be in range, with his defense is 6. Mm. Okay, so we're going to take some damage here, whether we like it or not. Totally didn't. I should have counted the spaces before I made that move. But it's okay. As long as that dude can't double attack us, we'll be fine. Now, all we can do is just hope that I did not fuck up. Speed 11, so we'd definitely be able to outrun him. But we would 
basically be taking how much damage? We'd be taking. We'd be taking um. Twenty-two minus R six, which would. But thankfully, he doesn't have a skill besides the defense lowering one. But twenty-two minus R six, so we would survive barely. He's definitely gonna move over to attack Niles though. But the accuracy is so little because Niles has so much speed. Yeah, that's fine. I'm here to help. Uh, I didn't want it to be like this, okay? but it seems like Effie's going to be harvesting this shit. Well that was easy. That it was. Gotta play it safe though, man. Ready for this? Good job, Effie. And we can tell. He's fucking starving right now. Okay, good. So we cleared out some of these guys. So now we are back to playing it nice and safe. Odin, it's time to do some work here. Let me see. We're going to move Elise back. We're going to have Odin come through. Light that nigga up with thunder. I don't even want to skip it because I know he's going to... darker than yours. <laughs> I love that shit. My darkness was darker than yours. Apparently, if he's Lissa's son, is, does he behave like that in the game um, Awakening as well? I don't know. I haven't encountered him yet, so all this has kind of been the air for me. But alright, so now we're getting into dangerous territory here. It's time to start baiting the big boys. So we got two attacks here. A double attack could happen. But it's okay. Well, actually, no. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. At this point now, who's got a defense drop? It's gonna be Corrin. We can buy how much? Okay. So we're gonna move you here. We're gonna switch it around. Actually, no, we should heal you first, my man. So why don't we bring Felicia here? Actually, no, no, no. How many spaces can you move? Five? It's not as many as I would have hoped you could. But it's fine. She has the Sunfist style, so she'll be able to heal him a bit further. And now we're gonna pair up with Odin. Excuse me, with, I always get these two mixed up. Niles. We have Rust Equilbio. Rust Equilbio. Taking the spawns chat by the balls. Joining on board. Thank you very much, my friend. Benefits in the description. We have some kind of um, jank ass hookups for you to be able to use the sponsor benefits while being on mobile. So talk to the sponsors about that. If you. I mean, well, how would you be able to do that in the first place if you can't be able to talk to them since you're on mobile? But I mean. They had this thing where you can apparently have like two windows open on your phone. Try looking into it, man. It should help. I know there's a lot of niggas that are on mobile now, so. So we're going to move up here. Switch with Corin. Attack with the um, Dragonstone. Yep. Zero damage. I'll do my best. Zero. But I'm going to get that drop, I know. But he won't be able to make it further than six. Yeah, they, it doesn't stack. Like, if he did... If I got a six drop before, I don't get a 12 drop after I get a fight into him as well, too. It's, it's not... It doesn't work like that. So now we're going to switch here. We're going to staff up. Sunfist style. Back to max. Good job. And now, finally time to move our niggas in. It's, it's been a long time coming. So Silas, 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 my man, you need to do some work. That's a dangerous place to be. But it's okay, we won't take that much damage, right? Attack 23, Silas has how much defense? 12? Take one hit, it's alright. Separate. Oh, wait a minute. Counter attacking. We could get a double attack on us potentially. Speed nine. Speed eight. So this will be okay. End it now. He'll be pushed to the edge, I think. We can do this together. 
That was kind of cool, actually, that animation that a little Spearman did. Yeah, I knew he was going to get the double attack. I figured as much. We're behind a wall, though, my boy. So I'll also be okay. I, like, like, look at this, you see? <laughs> R.I.P. Silas. Like, I mean, I'm starting to think the chat doesn't really know what it's talking about in a lot of these situations. Oh, Lord, more reinforcements? Oh, God. All right, well, this, okay, just when I started to talk, the situation seems to have changed. But all right, we have the Dragonstone equipped. As long as we have that shit equipped, we should be okay. We should be okay. It's time to start taking... Hit, so I just didn't realize that your reinforcements would come out the stairs, so this is probably something for me to be able to this is probably something for me to take into consideration now. Big time. But it's okay, because as long as these dudes are in the hallway, we're okay. As long as they stay in the hallway, it's these guys I'm worried about. I want to see what their range is. Then in the hallway, that means they won't be able to get too many double attacks on us. So yeah, Corin, you stay your ass right there. Felicia, I'm thinking maybe you can... No, no, it's, it's still dangerous, though, if we're in the stairs. You gotta put niggas on the stairs ASAP. Arthur, do us a favor and stay on the stairs, man. Just, just stay there. Meanwhile... Why are you still in range, though, Arthur? We have the path blocked off, don't we? We have this guy, though. We have so much speed, though. 19 speed. In comparison to this shit. That archer is going to be a problem there. So let's... Okay, yeah. So we have to kill that guy on the top. He's not as much of a threat. Yeah, so we're going to go in with this. Felicia with the flame shuriken. We should be able to take this dude completely out. Meanwhile, with Silas. What we're going to do, Silas, is play kind of safe here with you. And we're going to move you down. That's okay. And now we're going to have Elise come through with the Bloom Fistal. Heal up, Silas. Azura, yeah, I know. That's why I'm killing the archer on the top, because that archer is going to be more dangerous to us. The bottom archer? Not so much. Bottom archer can move there. Top archer? He can kill her. So it's time for, let's see, but then we're going to have a risk of Felicia getting, you know, potentially fucked up. So let's see. Um, yeah, we'll fine. We'll be fine there. Let's do it. Wait, hold on. Wait. Which one would be able to threaten her again? It would be the top one, not the bottom one. Bottom one won't be able to do shit. Top one, yes. But if we attack that top one, who do we leave ourselves at risk to get hit by? No, oh, neither of these guys? Okay, good. As long as we're not at risk of attacking that top one. Yeah, so we're fine. Time to go in. Two hits with Flame Shuriken. Do not miss either of those. Okay, Felicia. If you miss these, then we're going to have danger in regards to... Azura, who has only a defense of four. Not good. Not, 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 not good. Odin, stay there. Felicia, it's time for you to do your job. Or maybe we can go in. No, 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 no. Felicia, all day. Flame Shuriken, two hits. Do not miss. All right, come on. Good job, Felicia. I did it. Good job. Le weapon level B on the knives and shurikens too. That's actually pretty cool. So now Azora's out of the danger zone. Great. And now Corin, 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 Corin. Just keep minimalizing. The only thing that can hurt us here is this guy. But 20 attack. What is this? Quick draw. He deals plus four damage when initiating combat with 20 attack. So he does 24 attack kind of scary but these guys can take it as long as it's these speed nine. Oh yeah we're fine okay scary but we're okay 
Um, and now, one thing we can do is to stay here. And niggas just keep fucking killing him. Let's keep killing him. Finish this fucker off. I feel... Wait, wasn't there someone who said... Uh, let me see. It said... Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I saw something interesting. Odin is okay. And now we are going to end the turn here. Let's go. It's... A, oh, 30 damage? On Arthur? Wow, I didn't realize his speed was so bad. Wow, we My lost Arthur. One weakness. What made this hilarious is the fact that Arthur was only in that space because I threw him there just to be on top of the stairs. Well, our first loss. It's humiliating to have failed like this, but at least I'm lucky enough to be alive. Well, sorry, Arthur. I mean, I literally just threw him there. It was like, I, I didn't even think about it. I was just like, fuck it. Arthur, go there. Just stand on top of the stairs. But... Now it's like, okay, he died. <laughs> well, that sucks. Sorry, Arthur. It's, it, it, be, I'm being real with you. I didn't care about him. Like, I really did not care about him at all. That's why I played so risky with him. It was like, okay, Arthur. But, you know, he's comedic relief. It'll be interesting to see what his input is later on in the game and, like, you know, the little dialogue parts. Rest in peace, Arthur. Good job. Guess I did it right. He was always so unlucky. <laughs> Yo, I know. Word. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know. Maybe you guys will be pissed at me that I didn't really care about him too much, but I didn't. I really didn't. Like, it's like I feel bad about it, but maybe it's something. Maybe I have something against axe users, like um, like how I didn't really like Vake either. The Vake, the Vike. I don't know what it is, man. But I guess I'll do my best later on to not just throw characters in there as fodder next time. You guys seem pretty pissed off. But alright, so... So, 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 we have Corrin here, still with a bunch of defense. The best thing I think to do in this situation is just to keep using Concoction. Concoction, Concoction, Concoction. Keep ourselves good there. And now, we can have Odin finish this guy off with Thunder. 100% guaranteed, bam. It's fine with me. Yeah, I know some people are going to be cause, so you, cause you, So you lose one of their kids, too? I guess I shouldn't have been so dumb with him. I mean, I, I, I'm i sorry. I didn't care about him too much, man. I just didn't. Like, it was just like, I just did the move. Because it was like, okay, just put him there. Put him on the fucking stairs. Sorry, I didn't even do the math in terms of how much damage he could have taken. It was either Arthur or Azora. So, I mean... One way or another, someone was going out. And now we can put Niles on top of this space. Just so we can make sure no more reinforcements come out through there. We're pretty much safe here on this end. So now, we're going to have Azura move in. But at least now I can train up Mozu. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such an asshole. I'm such an asshole. Um, Soul Deity says, oh come on, I'm not much of an axe user, but they're so cool. I guess so. I didn't really. I wasn't really feeling the axe users too much in this game, though. Did they really have to give them such obnoxious personalities like Arthur and Vake? Arthur and Vake or Vike? I don't know how you pronounce it. Some people love them. I didn't care about them too much, man. To me, they're just so over the top that I couldn't even. They were like joke ass characters in a serious ass world. Like niggas are dying out here in this world, but you're making jokes about this all this justice stuff and enter the Vake. I mean, okay. At least Odin. Odin jokes around too. But his jokes are like, he doesn't perceive them as jokes. He's like, yeah, I'm a fucking badass. Like, I fuck niggas up, you know? Like, look at my fucking long, look at my name of my of my skill, aching blood. Like, he doesn't say it in like a comical way. It's like, yes, I am a fucking genius badass. Like, that, that's how I see it. But the vacant them, they were comedic relief with no purpose in my opinion. But I mean, okay. Anyways, I'm going to stop justifying why I didn't care about that guy. And instead, I'm going to keep playing smart with my other unit so I don't lose someone else's asses in here. Uh, 
healing with the least will probably be the best move, so that's what we're gonna do. Bloom for style. Heal up Corrin. Thank you. Thank you. Corrin's in somewhat of a crazy position right now because he can get doubled on by a lot of people. But I can also attack and finish someone off to make things a little easier for me. But look at that. They are all doing zero right now. Arthur died. Yeah, Arthur died. First, first casualty. And one on some dumb circumstances, too. I just totally threw him out there. I didn't even care. Jesus. I feel a little bit like an asshole now. But all right, so we're going to wait there. And finally, Corin. Now you. We have a couple of options here, Corin. We can switch to Effie to potentially take a lot of uh, hits here with the guard Naginata. But her defense will be lowered a little bit too much for my liking. So I think what we're going to do is just keep you with the Dragonstone, Corin. Because your defense is so mammoth-sized that... Yeah, let's let them bounce off of you. And then we'll make things easier for the other units. Because right now... Nyx is 9. At least you're fine. But Odin is 8. So we have 8, 9. The, the level that everyone should be around is, I guess, 10 right now. Effie just hit 10. So we don't have to worry about you getting experience too much, Effie. But it's still on Silas and um, uh, Niles to also, excuse me, to also get to level 10. So let me see. And then we have Azura here. You can sing, though, can't you, Azura? I think it's time to... You know, sing spam here. Get her up a couple of levels. But okay, so what we're gonna do is just go in there with Corn and yeah, just 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 wait it out, Corn. I want to see if potentially someone else can get some EXP by letting attacks bounce off of him. I'll crush them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So now stairs, stairs, stairs. Any more stairs for me to keep track of? We have these up here. Um, let me see. Hmm. Azura, can you get anything out of that chest? The brass Naginata, okay. So now we can go in there with Felicia. Potentially weaken them up, soften them up a little bit. Let's use Sizo stuff. Lag? DK freeze? Hold on. Maybe try refreshing, that might help. Yeah, refresh, guys, refresh. Yep, there we go. Refresh it, and it should be okay, I think. I hope. I'm not too sure, but okay. So now we're going to go in there with you. Silas. 100% on the bronze lance. So let's do it. I'll help you. Good job. On my honor as... Okay. So now, Corin. Um, actually, Odin needs to be getting the experience, so we're gonna move Odin up, and we're gonna have him attack with Thunder. Check out my skills. Refresh, please. Alright, so now at least Odin's getting some ESP. This is a good thing. Whoa, whoa! Yes, my true power is awakening at last. You're damn right, he's been gaining some big boosts too. Maybe we're being lucky. Maybe we're lucky for that. But okay, so now we're going to keep Nyx. Since you're not really the focus of the EXP right now, we're gonna leave you down there, Nyx. And instead, let me see. I just want to make sure there's no more spaces that any funny business can happen on the stairs or whatever. No, I think we're good. At least go in there and heal up a little bit. I won't forget this. And now we are finally 
good. So we're gonna end this turn. Corrin, just keep bulwarking shit, okay, my man? Good job. So now you can come through and obliterate that guy. Odin. Thunder. Finally, Odin's getting something out here. Aching blood. Glory unyielding. That nigga is so cool. Okay, so now. Odin is still in the danger zone for some reason. Who can he get hit by? Oh, he can get hit by Corrin. Okay, so I mean, right now, this is a little bit of a danger space, so we're going to have to send someone up there to block that. But we have that nigga up there. Azora, get your pretty ass over here, my girl. We're going to have her wait there. Hmm. Hmm. Really want to... So Corrin's defense is 22, right? He'll be fine without Effie at this point. He'll be pro he'll be totally fine. Granted, that's a bit risky, but with his super high defense, we don't really have to worry about reinforcements coming out of the stairs as much. As long as, unless they're the ones that lower your defense specifically, then that could be a problem. But for now, we're just going to send Corn here. We're going to switch. You know what? What are you capable of? Iron Yumi, twenty attack. 22 defense, we're fine. We're gonna separate. There we go. And now we have Effie here with her guard, Naginata, which is good. And then we have this dude who can't move, but these guys are just gonna keep rallying on us, so that's all right. Now that we have that space covered up there, we can, let me see, what can we do? We have that space covered up there. So let's keep parking it. Keep healing, Elise. Keep healing him. Keep healing. Oh, I wish I had a regular heal. That would be way more easy to use than just our. Uh, well, we gotta watch out for Odin, of course. Odin is in danger, so we're gonna have. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Rescue. Or we could have Silas come through. You have 23 attack. Kind of hard. Hmm. Someone's gonna have to come through and save that nigga. I guess that someone should be Silas. Hmm. Got to protect him from the double attacks after all. So yeah, Silas, you're gonna run through, pair up with Odin, raise his defense by just a bit. Protect him against double attacks. And next, we could have put Nosferatu on Odin as well too, but we had to use Thunder to kill that dude at that one point. So now, if they try to double up on us, they're only going to get one hit. And plus, Odin has a lot of defense now. Well, not a lot, but better than before with 11. So, we're surviving a hit, definitely. At this point, and plus we have the stairs covered up, thanks to Corrin being there. Unless more niggas come from these stairs over here, which I'm thinking might happen but even if that does happen we still have Odin here we doubled up so we're okay let's end the turn for now no niggas came out the stairs good for us reset Erica no we, I told you we, we're going hardcore with this shit oh so they didn't come after Odin after all they realized I guess I guess they just realized it wasn't worth it with all the defense that this dude had with um, Silas, so okay, that's fine. Now we can do something interesting and move Niles here, Azora, come here and start to sing. Okay, now I want to kill that guy up there. Effie, 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 let me see. You're an interesting one, Effie, because these guys basically wouldn't be able to do shit to you as long as you had someone paired up with you. But even then, even with the pair up, yeah, you're fine. So, Effie, you know what? You're going to go over here, block the way with your guard, Naginata. 
Just keep the area locked down, Effie. That's all you need to do. And now that that area is safe for us to walk through, unless units come out of there, which once again is risky, but Effie would still get it. Unless we pair up. You know what? We have to pair up. We gotta pair her up. It's too dangerous to not have her paired up at this point. So yeah, we're gonna move in there with Odin. We're going to switch. Actually, you know what? No, no, maybe we should totally go around. Maybe we should totally go around, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna wait. Because we can take advantage of this shit now. And so Corrin is chilling over here. He's fine here. Although his defense is lower than I think it should be. Because he's not with Effie, so of course it would be lower now. And we are going to basically try to just continuously sing spam, get ourselves some EXP. Not too much though, don't want to like totally break this shit. But Effie should be okay here. These niggas don't have like magic attack or whatever, so she should be okay. Since we're gonna end this, they wouldn't be able to do shit to her, which is why they're not attacking. Alright, so we're gonna have to start spam a lot of this stuff. How are you doing, Effie? You okay? Alright, good. Next, I need to kill this guy so Corrin can move. Or we can get that chest. So... Okay, we're gonna have to really move out fast. Pair up. There's somewhat of an operation going here, man. Separate here. Meanwhile, Azora, you can keep... Sing spam. Okay, good. Effie, why don't you go in and actually kill one of these guys? Just make it, things a little easier for yourself. The chances are kind of low, though. But keep the guard nagging out on it. Chances are low. Good job. So now, let me see, Silas and Odin, you guys just keep going around. Well, that is a somewhat of a dangerous area, so we're going to have to kill one of those dudes. Meanwhile, wait, what? You can break that wall, Corn? You can break the wall. Oh, interesting. Wow, I didn't realize you could break that one. Oh, this makes our lives so much easier. Now we don't have to walk all the way around. We can just kill this dude right up, right right here. Nice. All right. So now we're going to move Felicia up in there. In a safe way. In a safe way. There we go. Although, we, then, we, then we lack the unit to be able to sing spam on. Frustrating. All right, let's just keep playing it safe. Oh, that dude wants to fight now? Effie's good. Hmm. Because we need, Oh, well, Corn, you could just kill that dude. Straight up. But I'm worried about somebody coming onto that space. So you know what? Yeah, we're just we're just gonna kill this dude right now. Orion Blade, two hits. Go for it. Now. Here we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. So wait there. And next, now that we have that dude dead, we actually don't really need to put so much priority on that part. So we can now go here, separate. Save this man. There we go. I think we're solid now. We'll put Niles up to go get that chest. And we'll have... Effie, stay here to guard that area. Keep the guard Naginato on. Actually, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep the guard Naginato on. Might not hit him this time. There we go. Good job. Yeah, sure. Play it safe. You should have done that before Arthur died. He literally died because I didn't care about him. Like, you guys saw. Like, I literally said, ah, whatever. Put him on the stairs. And I knew the archer was there. I just... 
I usually didn't care enough, to be honest. Some people like him, I guess, but for me, it was like, okay, no. I didn't really care that much. Um, what's this now? Oh, then you go there. But it, it was foolish, regardless, to, to just play him like that and to like totally sacrifice him like that. That was, because you know, we, we might need the units. We might need the units. So that was dumb. If anything, I also learned the lesson in terms of stairs have to be plugged up ASAP. Super important. Can't play around with the stair thing. Niles, chest. We got another rescue. Nice. Okay. So we're going to send that to the convoy. And now we're going to kill this other one. Because this dude wouldn't be able to... Uh, will we be able to really get this one or not? I don't know. Killer Lance. Go for it. Why not, Effie? Nice. I don't think he was. Alright, great. So now we reduced all the danger zone. We are finally good. So we're going to have Odin come through and get that last kill. Or rather, no, it'll be Odin and Silas. These two might as well stay paired up, right? They might as well stay paired up. Wait there. At least you just wait there. Keep song spamming. Good. Wait there. All the stairs are covered? No, not yet. That could have been bad. Wait there, Corrin. That stairway could be dangerous, but Effie's about to fucking be in that bitch, so... Let me see. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. We're almost about to end this bitch. How can he attack us from far away? You can throw that thing? Oh, you can throw it. Crazy. We still have the Guard Naginata on though, so we're gonna go here. Equip the Guard Naginata. Because it cause our defense got lowered since we didn't have that thing on before. We're gonna use actually no, we don't really use need, really need to use the concoction, do we? But let's use it anyways. Play safe. We're gonna stay there and finally we can pull this strategy off. I meant to do it before, but we're gonna do it now. Good job, Azor. I'm so happy. I could sing, but I won't. Why not? That voice is nice. Why not? Okay, we're just gonna do this for like a minute or two. Kind of get her up to speed. Taking advantage. The boost is starting to get... The experience from it is starting to get really low, though, so I'm not trying to stay here all fucking day. Like I said, maybe like a few more minutes of this shit. Okay, actually, it's not, it's not going as low as I thought it was. Damn. Conquest, my boy. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Vu says, uh, <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, uh, 
It'll be crazy if we do all this grinding with her. Only that only to have her die on us at some point later on. Like we lose her on a map. I'm hoping that all this experience used on you is is gonna be worth it. Okay. Shows what level is she, what level is she now? Let me see, she's level four? God, this is taking so long. It's only been two minutes though. Uh. <laughs> okay, great. But alright, so that mission was hairy. We didn't really do it in... I Because a lot of people were saying to me, Etika, do the fucking break down the wall. We could have done that, but... that To me, in my honest opinion, that would have made the mission kind of avoid the enemies. We need to focus on killing the enemies to get the experience points. Koga, join in the sponsor group. What's going on, Koga? Thank you big time. Thank you big time for that, my friend. But we're actually going to have Corrin also come through and... Let me just get some some kind of freaking uh because I know you know for the support conversations that'd be good. Uh Yay. You wasted a lot of the experience on two characters, though, Etika. Ah, I had to. I mean, those guys are basically going to be a lot of the force in terms of defense. Because no one else has defense like Effie. No one else has defense like Corrin. So these two will kind of ease things in to make things easier for the other characters to take on. Because Odin, look at him. He's level to level... Um, He's about to get to level 10. And so is Silas. So Silas is super close. Odin is super close. These guys are about to hit level 10. And that would not have happened if it wasn't for Effie... And Corrin making things easier, tanking a lot of the hits, weakening them, um, absorbing a lot of shit. It would have been really, really hairy if we didn't try to rely on them on the defensive walls that they are. So I feel like even though maybe we took advantage in a sense, it's still we still needed to. I mean, this is still a hardcore run. So one way or another, we need to do what we need to do to make it easier to take out these enemies. And more experience, the better. One thing, to be honest with you guys, that I actually do like about Conquest is the fact that since it, since there's no grinding in other missions, or able to go back to other missions, it means that maybe the scaling of the enemies wouldn't be as intense, but I don't know. I'm only up to chapter 9. I don't know. I don't know. The scaling is probably still going to be crazy, but I just want to be prepared. Alright, so we've been doing this for 5 minutes. Probably not going to go for too much longer. She's level what now? Level 6? Although, you know, to be honest with you, even though we're leveling her, she's leveling a lot, she still wouldn't be able to take a hit, right? Like, we're giving her all this experience, but at the end of the day here, what is it truly that Azura would be able to do for us once she's maxed or whatever? Like, she can't take a hit. She can't fight nobody. Your literal purpose is just to sing. Endlessly. But even when you're in a battle, you ain't, you ain't taking a hit, you ain't giving a hit. All you're doing is singing. So there really is no purpose to just giving you experience points to when you're not really going to be able to do anything outside of Sing, at least to my knowledge. So let's just finish this now. We're going to go in there with Odin and um, Silas. We're going to wait here. We're going to separate. Bam. And now we are going to... He can throw that shit? He can throw that shit? Range too, yeah. Okay. So now we are going to end this shit. We're going to go in there with Effie. Just gonna do a little, actually no no let's go in there with Felicia. He's gonna be 20 damage. Ooh, not good, my friend, not good. All right, so Corin, it's it's time for you to help out a little bit here. Uh, we got Koga joining the sponsor group. Wait, Koga, did I already shout you out? Can't remember. I think I did. I think I did. My, my sponsor thing isn't working here, it's still on the fritz, so YouTube is acting real dumb. But okay, so now we're going to go here, attack you with Cor with Corrin, hit you with the um, Dragonstone. Hmm. Guard Naginata. Okay. Not gonna do okay, you know what? Well, we have to kind of hope that we get 
This is going to be basically luck chance. Oh, we hit. Oh. I'm surprised we hit that. So now... Odin, 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 Odin. Your chances are really fucking slight. And if you miss Odin, you're taking 17, my man. You don't need to be missing right now, dude. Silas, what about you? Your chances are low, too. And this nigga has a lot of speed. Or avoidance, rather. He's a spear fighter with avoidance of 18. But why is he able to... Why is he able to do so much... And dodge so much? Hold on, guys. Try to refresh the page. It's probably freezing. Okay. Alright. But that dude has a lot of avoidance, man. Like, are we gonna have to freeze that nigga again? Freeze moves his avoidance down by 20 so let's try that but he might dodge the fucking freeze look at that 60 percent it's too risky at this point odin you could try capture so much of a crapshoot capture the boss you can capture him oh you mean with um with this dude? Niles? Hmm, I don't know. Etika, read the chat like you used to. I am reading it. So if we capture him though, what the fuck is the point of it? We make him a prisoner and then what? In prison is defeated foes. I don't know if I care about that right now. We can just do it later if it's really that important. But for now, we're going to go forward with finishing him. Damn, the chances are so small. And if we miss, then he's going to get another turn to retaliate. It's too much to play around with this dude, man. It's too, mu it's too much. It's too risky to play around with this dude. He's ranged and all that shit. It's too much to play around. We can't play no games with this motherfucker. We could go in there with Silas, though. He does have the D. The defense to be able to... Okay, so you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that. But then, if Silas misses and they don't kill him, he can hit Odin up. And I want Odin to be able to double attack with Silas. <sighs> this is a tricky situation. We could have... Mm -mm, no. The maid can debuff him. Yeah, I know, the maid could. But she goes in there and she misses. He's doing 20! And then he's gonna be able to attack next turn. And it'll be too risky. Yeah, too risky. Too fucking risky, man. Everyone else will be able to take a shit ton of damage except for Corin and Elise. I mean, excuse me, not Corin and Elise. Corin and, um, and Effie. It's too risky. If I miss... if I like, Let's just say, for example, I send Felicia in there to weaken him. I miss. Okay, cool. I'll just have Corin come in. Corin's chances of hitting him are actually pretty damn low themselves. Only at highest one, 75. Which is not reliable enough, in my opinion. If Corrin misses that attack, then it's going to be left on these two. And if these two miss, someone's dying. No thanks. I'll just, I'll just play it safe. I'll just play it safe. Fuck that. Fuck that. Corrin, go in there. As a matter of fact... Maybe Odin can pair up with her and gain some experience, but I think since he's not going to be the one attacking, it's not going to um, count as much. Just keep going in. This dude has so much avoidance here. Probably because of the terrain that he's on. Fuck that. So if we capture him, how do we, how do we even do that? I don't know. But at this point, it's just not worth it. And he's healing up too. Jesus. We stand together. Even Drag... Even Dragsness join in the sponsor group. Thank you to you, my friend. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, you see, no one's able to hit shit. No one can hit anything right now. Even Felicia's chances to hit are super low, and she's got a lot of skill. A lot of accuracy. Please recruit him, Etika. He's amazing. I don't know how to do that in the first place, man. What are your chances of hitting him, Niles? Super low! The only thing I can hit him with is a Cupid bow, and that's not going to really do the effect that we need here. This is a dangerous dude we're playing with right now. 
This is a dangerous dude. Take the 75%. No thanks. Too risky. Look, even now, we're like kind of fucking flopping right now. Right now, you know, let's switch with Corrin. No, 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 that's, that's a bad move. Just going with the Garden Aguinada. Keep trying. I do have a prison, actually. I do have a prison, but... Alright, here we go. We could have, I guess, kept spamming this. So damn risky, man. I ain't trying to play around like that, man. Go and now let us continue. I do have a prison though, yeah, I do. I built one. You are good take some fucking risks, no thanks. You can take risk yourself if you want. You can just reset whenever you want to, not me. Here we go, finally! Dude is done, how mortifying. You got the heart seal. And plus, he does extra damage on a counter attack? That dude, he's literally a killing machine. Let's just say I went in there with Niles. Niles goes in. He attacks him and misses. On his counter, he's doing four plus damage. And then he's going to attack us on the next turn and finish off. Like it, it, It's too damn risky, man. That dude was could not play with that dude. Could not fucking play around, man. Is there any way for us to gain some experience? That was not the guy to play around with in terms of trying to get experience. It was not that dude. You should have captured him with Niles. How do we capture him? By killing him with Niles? It, it didn't give me a capture command, per se. All it did when I went next to him was items and wait. Was this supposed to be a capture command? How do we capture him? We kill him with Niles? Let me know. Because if capturing him involved killing him with Niles, then our chances were kind of crazy you needed to get him lower it did have a capture command it did i didn't see it it didn't show up or maybe i missed it oh let me see i'm gonna i'm gonna look back so i can see because i'll be able to see for myself let me see was there a capture command I want to know so I can not sound like a freaking idiot and I know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Well, this thing, the VOD is acting weird. Oh, okay, alright, alright, I think I'm at that point now. Yeah, I didn't see a capture command, or did I? Let me see. Okay, so now I'm moving him. Oh, it did have a capture command. Oh, you have to be in attacking range. Okay, well now we know. I didn't realize that earlier. So if we could have captured him, okay. So next time, we'll definitely go for the capture, because I didn't realize that that option was there if we were a certain range away from him. I had gone next to him at one point, like completely like parallel to him, and the capture command didn't happen there. But when we went into attacking range, that's when it happened. Well, I'll look up more about that option Azura. later. But for now, let's continue this. So now we are back with Azura in hand. Let's fucking do it. So it was nice to see you too, Azura, but what are you doing here in Noor? But actually, never mind that part. Why were the Hoshidans fighting against you? I thought the people of Hoshido were your allies. Truly. As did I, but when the war started, everyone, everything changed. After you, a prince of Oshido sided with Noor, the Hoshidans wished to banish me. Wow. The general consensus was that nobody with ties to the enemy could be trusted. 
Since I was taken from Noor as a child, I bore the brunt of these wild suspicions. Damn, I'm betting it was Takumi that came up with all that. <clears throat> Azura, that's awful. <sighs> Ryoma and the others stood up for me. They tried their best to protect me, but one day a group of Hoshiden soldiers captured me and took me here. If you hadn't come along, I can't imagine what would have become of me. So thank you, Corrin. I owe you my life. I'm so sorry. And please don't thank me, Azura. It's my fault that you were caught up in all this to begin with. It's not fair that you were torn from your home again on my account. No. I'm sorry. But don't blame yourself. It's not really your fault. When a war starts, it's only natural to distrust the enemy. I always knew that this would happen if Nor and Oshido ever went to war. Yeah, you're damn right. Attack us on the next turn. Oh, whoops. I suppose so. But I'm still sorry for the part that I played in your misfortune. We have Trap Bear 1. It's one of the spawns group. Hopefully you can bear with my ass not fucking realizing the options I had in front of me. But hell, I mean, it's my first fucking time playing the mission, man. Like, I mean, the capture option. How many of you dudes fucking took advantage of that in the beginning, huh? First time, hello, remember? First time here. Thank you. Anyways, big thanks to you, Trap Bear One. I do appreciate it, and the benefits are listed in the description. Hey. But I think, you know, I, I feel, feel like people will complain no matter what, I think, at the end of the day. I think nothing of it. And actually, if it's not too much of a burden, I was hoping that you would allow me to join you. Well, don't worry, we prepared all this for that. Perhaps with our powers combined, we can end this senseless war. Yeah? Well, of course. I'd be honored to have you fight at my side. You were a valued friend during my time in Hoshido, and I'm happy to return the Thank favor. Thank you. Thank you, Korin. I'm so glad that we crossed paths once more. After I was captured, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Oh, shit. Not just you, but also your... Dragon form, maybe? Azura? Big brother! Korin, I finally found you. We're all ready to go now. Elise. Thanks, Elise. We'll leave momentarily. Yeah. Brother? Who's this pretty lady you're talking to? Uh-oh. Well. This is Azura. She'll be traveling with us from now on. She was once a Norian princess, but she was stolen away many years ago. A Norian princess? Really? What? Oh, wow. Why didn't you say so? Does that mean you're my big sister? <laughs> well, of course it does. Isn't that right, Azura? Well... Azura? Is something wrong? You seem... Oh, wow. So I have a sister named Azura, and she's so pretty. It's nice to meet you, sis. Truly. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Thanks for the warm welcome, Elise. <laughs> no problem. Oh my goodness, I'm all shy now because of my new big sis. Come on already, follow me. I want to be the one to introduce you to everyone. What's that? Okay. Oh. Elise, Azura's a bit shy, so please don't overwhelm her. Azura, what a mystery you are. It's almost like she was about to say that she and Elise aren't really sisters. Perhaps it was just my imagination. Hmm, interesting. Mysterious indeed. Alright, I'm gonna save the game here. Alright, so the next chapter is the infamous chapter 10. I'll tell you for a fact, everyone was telling me, Etika, chapter 10, you're gonna fucking die, dude. Everyone's gonna get lost. You're gonna lose all your units and shit. So let's see what happens when we do chapter 10. But we're not gonna do it in this stream. No, I'm tired. But maybe later on today, we might do a stream, no guarantees, no promises. I'm not telling you I'm going to do a stream later today, uh, but it might happen, but I'm not guaranteeing it. It's in the air. Anyways, guys, thank you all for this very entertaining stream. It was really fun. I learned a couple of more mechanics, I guess, in regards to the whole capture thing, but I don't really see the relevancy of it. Like, what would the capture thing do in the first place? We have the prison thing right here, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Arthur. I forgot. Arthur. Arthur died in this run which is sad but we learned that man the one thing i'll say that we learned is that the game will call reinforcements without even telling you at this point it doesn't even let you know it just has them pop up so anywhere that we see as a recognizable place that reinforcements could emerge we have to be on top of those spaces asap we can't fuck around with that anymore it's dangerous dude Um, what did you say, Link Master? Using capture allows you to capture enemy units. Yeah, I mean, that's what it said there. But what's the purpose of it? Like, to use them myself? But being real with you, I don't know if I would want to use enemy units like that. I mean, they're cool and all, but I, I don't know. I have to experiment. I have to see for myself. I kind of just wanted to kept, keep it story. But then again, I, I do want to use Robin as a unit, so maybe I could use some enemy units as well, too. Kind of spare myself from losing any like story relevant units. 
Wie jammer mijn broeder. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. Chapter 10 is next. That is the big scary one right there. I hope I'm prepared, man. I hope I'm prepared. But alright, I'm gonna save the game here. And I'm pretty much going to end it now. Once captured, they'll be put into jail and you can go and bribe them to try to join you or convince them to join. Okay, that's, a, that's an interesting option though. Yeah, they can be used. Great to replace your lost units like Arthur. Yeah, I know. Sorry about the Arthur loss, guys. I should have paid more attention to that part, but I really didn't care to. I know, that sounds like an asshole kind of perspective from me, but it was, and I, I admit it, I admit it. It was just because I didn't care that much. So next time, I'll be more alert. I'll be more alert. But for now, we can save the game one more time, and I'm going to go get something to eat because I am starving right now. So I will see you guys later on. Episode 4 will be uploaded literally right after this stream. And then this episode will probably be up maybe later today. Not too sure. But episode 4 will be up right now. So I'll talk to you guys later on. I had a lot of fun. Kind of frustrating a little bit too. But eh, I don't I don't really mind. I, at, least I, at least I'm not doing as bad as people thought I would. A lot of people thought I'd be totally dead by now. You know, as long as we keep playing smart, using our tactical advantages, we'll be okay. I'll talk to you dudes later. Peace!